two, three, fire! Knights, Vikings, Samurai, Wulin, Outlander, four. Welcome back, everybody. I'm joined once again by Mr. J.C. Frenet. <laughs> or rather, I'm joining you because you were well, here in the last Well, I'm second. guessing I, yeah, I, that I'm... it's time to go ahead and eat my dinner. <laughs> um, it's been an so, hour, uh, so I'm finally able to go ahead and eat my February 2nd. Yeah. But it's just dinner. Uh, I think we have one thing so if anybody does not remember, the notes, uh, this is what I'm going to be eating. Testing grounds, a a ground chicken sandwich with some fries. Right, so... Uh, so there's two things, right? Uh, first, drink. we completed the Jormungandr testing grounds not that oh. long ago. Uh, went extremely well. We're super happy with the results. Uh, we'll have more details to share, um, <coughs> you know, in the coming weeks or whatever. Uh, but really, the idea is like it, it, it went well. We got a lot of feedback, and uh, we were able to act on. A Damn lot it! Of went down the wrong so pipe again. Have a really, really good group work. <coughs> so all super proud of hey, it. So that happens when you drink. And thank you, real quick, to everyone who responded to the testing ground survey, who yeah. gave us feedback on the subreddit. Uh, it was really appreciated. So thank you. Yeah, that was, that was that's amazing. Honestly, like I'm, my wife got mad at me because I was on this. <laughs> But I mean, this is what happens. Uh, but it went well. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, that's 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 a we big. We have over. plans today. Yeah. I, so I'm guessing the Yomi Gunder we were just not gonna come out. I gotta read. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so the other thing I want to talk about is uh, yeah. the dodge attack uh, improvement testing rounds uh, that we did a little while ago. Um, so we wanted to take a bit more time into bringing that live, uh, parsing through a lot of the feedback that we got. I know a lot of people liked it. We know some people. Like, there was some aspects they liked, some aspects they didn't like. We got a lot of really constructive feedback, so that's great. Um, we're, we're taking our time a little bit, but uh, it's going to be coming soon. Uh, the changes are going to be coming soon. So and that was an interesting pile of feedback to dive into. Because yeah. on the surface, it was like, ah! And then when we dug into it, it was like, well, I like like 80% of it, but there's like 20% that is exactly. freaking me out a little yeah. bit. So we really wanted to dig into that and thoroughly understand uh, where you guys are coming from so yeah, yeah. and that, 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 that the more nuance we get in that type of feedback the better it is for us because we can really act on specific things and not just mm -hmm. go blanket I don't like this or I like this right so yeah yeah that's always really good to have all right uh, I think is it we can dump into the, yeah. the notes of the, the patch. patch notes right yeah all right so we have hero improvements patch notes we've been doing this uh, for a yeah. while so that's pretty I, good. I just want to see the slate I want to see the slate <laughs> yeah right okay so we're going to start with defensive stance ability. Oh, dang. So by that, I mean uh, abilities that you perform while you're holding down on uh, the right stick on your controller or holding down with your mouse if you want or you know, whatever you go there. Um, so for Conqueror, Black Prior, Valkyrie, Warlord, Kyoshin, and Nobushi, Nobushi didn't, doesn't really have, like, she has, she has that, that sort of input, but she, it's not really as defensive. Uh, but for the people, that, for the heroes that actually have that block there, uh, we th those those abilities no longer pause stamina regeneration when you hold them. So you regen your stamina while you're in that block stance. Uh, it no longer costs stamina when you block attacks. I knew Spaniard is going to be mad at me. <laughs> That's how he calculates how much like the hit reactions of attacks. Yeah, yeah. That's how it used to be. Well, he's going to have to find a new methodology. Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we love the guy. Uh, so yeah. So that that. Um, we removed the stamina cost to block attacks uh, specifically because, again, we really want to flow towards uh, like not being stamina starved all the time, especially with those abilities. Uh, I know I've heard comments from people that go, well, I'm just going to stay in there all the time. That's not useful at all. You can, you're going to get you, broken out of yeah. it. Like, it's not, you know, broken or anything. So that's have, a... Have fun attempting to make that work. Exactly. And then the last thing that very few people knew about was that whenever you used to block attacks in those stances, you got less revenge, right? And so that might be part of why sometimes you're like, oh, why didn't I get revenge there, there, there? Well, it's because you were using that full block. But we've removed that aspect, so now you get the normal amount of revenge. Should help you survive better in group fights, be able to use those abilities quite a bit more. Uh, so that should be really, really useful. Oh, nice. So I can now feed even more revenge. Exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's how okay. it works. Uh, and then... For Nobushi specifically, so hidden stance no longer pauses stamina re regeneration when you hold it. Again, nice. she can go into her hidden stance and her stamina back. She only dodges really when you start it up. So she can stay in that stance, but at least she's not going to be like, again, stamina starved while she's in there and not having to really have a look at her stamina and go, oh, uh, this is what I have to do. I have to be really, really careful. So you can go into it more often, hold it more long for longer, and get like those sweet options she has out of there a little bit more often. 
Awesome. One more reason for me to avoid Nabushi. Yeah. <laughs> We all love them. Hey, uh, don't make fun of the bushy. We so, love her. I mean, th this is a short note. It's but, a very short note, right? But I'm seeing some words in bold. Some words in bold, yes. So I'm feeling like this isn't a simple change. It's not It's not a simple change, but it's a <laughs> very significant one. Uh, so Berserker can now cancel the recovery of every single attack with a dodge at 300 milliseconds. So before, Berserker could only really cancel the recovery of a bunch of attacks into a dodge but only on miss and so with this it's every single attack every single time and we really wanted to go forwards with that for that with, with berserker because the hero is supposed to be a crazy attack machine that always always attacks berserker has front dodge heavies front dodge lights side dodge lights everything's enhanced and it really fits the hero super well gives him a lot of uh movement more vulnerability uh, uh, invulnerability rather in group fights a lot of move, uh, you can do a lot of more stuff with that, right? You go attack somebody in a group fight, try to get peeled. Oh, and I'm gonna dodge away. Uh, and we felt super confident giving this to Berserker right now because there's no, like, there's no bashes that are super quick that have like these really difficult moves to kind of deal with. So we were confident enough to give this to Berserker right now live instead of going to a testing ground with that because uh, it works really well with the hero. It makes a lot of sense, and we're not anticipating a lot. Difficult thing. Yeah, because everything with Berserker is really like flowing and yeah. fast, and then you'd hit this kind of chunky moment. Yeah, you get into yeah. those heavy finishers, just boom, I'm stopping, and then oh, I have to start again and start again and start again. So with this, like, you get a lot more mobility and a lot more, a, lot, a much better flow there. Yeah, and and now we know why you can't give a Viking two axes. Exactly, they'll go berserk. Exactly, they literally <laughs> go berserk. So that's, that's the problem. There. <laughs> All right, uh, next up we have Kensei. Uh, so, uh, we can say my main, recently, uh, and this is like my web 70, <laughs> one of the final ones we're going to be doing for now. Uh, but I think it's one that was super well requested. Basically this kind of rounds out can offense in one V one. Uh, so the chain light attacks now cause a medium hit reaction. It used to cause a light hit reaction. And, uh, we've also adjusted the timings from chain lights to finisher lights. So you can still dodge them, right? So you can't okay. just go like light spam and your opponent can't dodge out of them or whatever. But, this might not seem like much, but this means that Kensei can do the opener into Pummel Strike, into second, well, into Chained Light, and then do that top heavy uh, finisher that's unblockable, and it will no longer be interruptible at all by your opponent. So that's kind of like the final thing here, where if Kensei gets his Pummel Strike, which he does quite often, uh, then going through that finisher is super rewarding, because then you force people to really, really deal with that mix-up, and then that finisher has like a lot of soft things to do a bunch of different things, so it's super effective. It works quite well, uh, and it gives the hero a lot more pressure in one v one situations. Yeah, so. it sounds like it should break him away from being so reliant on that top heavy mix up. Yeah, right. Because before the problem was that because you could do it right, you had to always. Oh, I'm going to do the side heavies because they have armor. I had to. Yeah, you had to commit to diff to more things. Whereas in one v one scenarios, it, it's not really optimal. It doesn't even feel as good. So with this, at least you, you can be sure you won't be interrupted by your opponent by a, by a quick light. That, that works it's super, super strong. Gives him a lot more pressure. But that's good. No, that sounds good. But and uh, yeah, so with the chain light attack. Timing. Yeah, with the timing. So the timing, make sure that the light finishers can be dodged. So if because before, because we give it a medium hit reaction, uh, you you could do like a chain light into a finisher light, and you couldn't dodge the finisher light. Mm. So with the chain link timing extended a little bit, it means that you can dodge those finisher light. Uh, we know like a lot of people like. It's important to be able to dodge in between some of those lights to give people a bit more breathing room. That's why we had, we also adjusted that there to make sure that things would be okay and that you wouldn't feel the pressure. It, it also in incentivizes you to use that top heavy finisher, right? Because otherwise, if the light is undodgeable, then sometimes you go, why would I use that top heavy? Yeah, so just exactly right. Want, we don't want we want people to think about light yeah. spam anymore. No, so light spam can stay dead. Yeah, shaman. Exactly. Uh, so shaman. So uh, for Shaman, the left and right stance, uh, Raven's Claw and Raven's Bile. That has a soft feint from heavy openers and uh, chains after heavy finishers. Uh, so the sides used to be 466, and the top was 400. Now all three sides are 400. Uh, nice. That makes that gives Shaman more unreactable offense. We know from Peacekeeper, from Raider, from Aramusha, from, from Kensei, that those soft feints into really, really quick attacks work really well. In her case, it's a bleed, 
uh, that enables her to pounce and bite people and do like all sorts of cool things. Uh, gives synergy with, with uh, Nobushi, gives synergy with uh, with Peacekeeper as well. Uh, so it's really interesting. We really want her to be able to like apply that bleed more often, more consistently. Uh, and making it 400 should be unreactable even for our more crazy reaction players that we have. Uh, so that's really, really strong here. Uh, gives her a lot more pressure in those situations. Makes her quite a bit better. Nice, yeah. It sounds like she's going to have a lot better blood pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blood pressure is going to go through the <laughs> roof now. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Chat's going to hate me for that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, all right, so Black Prior. So, uh, Dang, Black Prior again? Just the Black Prior's light finishers uh, to not cause a medium hit reaction. It used to be a light reaction. Um, We've also adjusted uh, the, the, the the life initial recoveries, so you have the same frame advantage as you had before. So it means the recoveries are a little bit longer, but it also means that if a blackberry does light light to you and then he spams light, your light will be their light, right? So that's the idea here. We really want to keep that aspect really, really strongly. That's a very important aspect of what we did with the core combat update a few years ago, and it's very, very important <coughs> to us, for us to have that. Because that's now a medium hit reaction, <laughs> Black Prior can now do Light Finisher to Bulwark, into a Bulwark Stance into Bulwark Slash without getting interrupted. Similarly to what we have with Kensei, right, the idea is we want Black Prior to be able to flow more into more offense. Um, and like as, access that Bulwark Stance. Exactly, right, and access that Bulwark Stance and be able to use the Bulwark Slashes a lot more effectively. Uh, because part of the problem that Black Prior has is that he feels like a really one-two type of character mm -hmm. all the time, right? You do shield bash and do light finisher, shield bash and do light finisher. And so having that flow coming afterwards brings a lot more variety, brings like improves the overall flow of the character and makes you want to use the rest of them a lot more to get into those situations. Nice, so just kind of open them up. Yeah, okay. round them out a little bit, right? And also, uh, we've also adjusted Tenebris Thrust uh, and you can now cancel its recoveries with a bulwark stance, which you couldn't before. Uh, we were trying to stay away from that a little bit, but uh, now uh, we're trying to go into something a little bit different. Yeah, you want me to? Oh no! Mic? All right, I have to pick up a mic. Uh, <laughs> so, huh. All right, so is this mic not working? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's it for Black Prairie here, right? So we're gonna have that aspect. Technical right problems. Uh oh. Uh, so we have a couple of other changes to other heroes. Uh, so for Kyoshin, we have Hakaze and Mujino Kaze, which now cost six stamina. Uh, I said that really fast in Japanese. So basically, those are the, <laughs> the Kaze stance, light, and zone attack. Okay. So they now cost six stamina instead of twelve. Um, works better. Uh, gives Kyoshin much better stamina. So economy. much less stamina, like starved exactly, all the time. Exactly right. So gotcha. that's what that, it goes in with what, what I was saying earlier, where we want those zeros to have more stamina, less like constantly out of breath. That's a big thing. Yeah, because Kyoshin feels like okay, I did my thing. Now I gotta like. Wait yeah. a second. Exactly. Okay, now I did my thing. Constantly. Yeah. So with this, it doesn't like completely like we, you still have to watch your stamina, but it helps. Every little bit helps. So every little bit helps there as well. Uh, Warmonger. So for Warmonger, Beast of Prey, which is her side dodge heavies, uh, they now have extended dodge properties. So what does that mean? Uh, it means that she has invulnerability frames for longer. It means she has tracking break, which is what we kind of call when. Uh, whenever you dodge an attack, right? So the way it works is I throw an attack at you and you dodge. It kind of breaks the tracking I have towards you so that, I, that I'm going to miss. So that's the idea here. So that tracking yes. break is longer. Uh, lets her dodge attacks more effectively. Beast of Prey is really good in group fights. Well, it was kind of okay in group fights. With this, it should be much better in group fights. Let's Warmonger reposition, throw big heavy unblockables at people, target swap them, do all sort of stuff, and be a lot safer while she does that. Looking forward to that one in particular. Warmonger yeah. is one of my one of my mains. So yeah. Uh, then we have Griffon. So uh, for Griffon, Helm Cleaver is now enhanced. That's dodge forward light. So for some of these heroes, and I've, I've, some people have probably noticed, and you probably noticed as well. Um, <laughs> in the past few seasons, we've been doing some incremental changes to some heroes, right? And sometimes it's like, oh, it's a little thing. Oh, it's a little thing. It's a little thing. In the case of Griffon here, it might it, like it's it's not the biggest buff we've ever done. But at the same time, it's one step forward, right? And so we want to make sure that sometimes we do like these step by step so we can do like a little bit and then evaluate, oh, okay, well, in the future, this worked well. So we can, what else can we do to improve the character? What else can we do to improve the character? And go like a little bit slower in there. We're doing a lot more frequent updates uh, with this. So it works really, really well. And that should also help Griffon get into better offense regardless. So it's still a good tool. 
and it being enhanced makes it that at least you're not gonna get interrupted and then guard broken externally by somebody else yeah because i know in the past sometimes we'll roll out a slate of changes and we're yeah. like oh 80 percent of those were good but like these couple uh now that's the focus exactly right. and so oh. this allows us to just to yeah, we ratchet it up really well. uh next we have uh uh well, it looks like a bug fix, but it's also an improvement on the Bushi. So she can now do uh, Viper's Retreat and Hidden Stance at 100 MS in the stance change. That used to be at 300 MS. So basically, when you change your stance, uh, <coughs> it takes overall 300 milliseconds. Uh, but you can normally attack after 100. And so the Bushi could not do Viper's Retreat or Hidden Stance until end of that 300. And so to have a lot more consistency with when she can attack, when she can go into a Hidden Stance, we really put it at 100 MS, like what she would have when she attacks. Uh, really helps her again have more fluidity a little bit here. And it's also... It's going to feel better. Yeah, she feels yeah. better, right? Because the thing is, sometimes even for hidden stance, like, I do it all the time. Like, I because I don't go and adjust my dead zones like crazy. Like, which is I don't know, a great <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. But sometimes you want to hit down and then, oh, you were like a little bit too much, too diagonal for some reason because you're not too accurate like I am. I'm getting old, so... And then I hit the diagonal, <laughs> and then, oop, I changed my stance. And then I have to wait 300 MS before I can go into the stance. But that's one of those buffs here that really, really helps that uh, the input. And then, finally, uh, Valkyrie. So, Valkyrie's shield tackle uh, no longer causes stamina damage. I don't know if you've seen... I'm seeing Yeah, uh, I've seen the like videos. A, yeah, <laughs> right? And there's been a big yeah. tier list recently uh, mm -hmm. but for Dominion, and Valkyrie is S tier. And so... We love the fact that she's strong. Uh, it's amazing that it, we had a really good rework with her. Like everybody's super, super proud of it. But at the same time, she did not need stamina damage on the unreactable bash that deals a good amount of damage for the risk that you take when you go into it. It makes sense to have that that higher damage, but she doesn't need to cause stamina damage on top of it. So we removed that stamina damage entirely there. So the hero is still strong. I don't see her dropping. Uh, but at least this should lead to a lot less frustration when facing her because she's not meant to be a stamina player. She's not meant to drain your stamina. And if she's doing it all the time, eventually she wears you down and then it just gets frustrated. Get away. Yeah, the shield tackle has a lot of modifiers yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. So, well, yeah, hopefully missing, you know, that I, little ar little arguably the least of, well, uh, you yeah. know, we'll, f we'll feel a little bit better when you're just getting kicked in the dirt. By yeah, her. <laughs> exactly. Right. So uh, that's it for patch notes and the hero improvement. <coughs> awesome. Sorry, so I thought my guys, came up. This is only a uh, <laughs> like snippet of the patch notes. You can look for the full patch notes on February 2nd. They'll be up on the website. And uh, I believe that's it for this segment. But we'll be right back with Nolan, Carl, and Luc St. Pierre for a special segment on For Honor's music and audio. What? Amazing. Oh. Yeah, just consistently one of the best parts. Look, St. Pierre? No way they got uh, this dude here. We'll be right back after the switcheroo. Mm -hmm. 